Chantelle believes the Greys have been causing all sorts of trouble, moving things around and abducting her at will. Even when I just went to walk through park, that's how I've experienced it before, been abducted just by walking through park. Just wanted some time to myself, get a bit of fresh air, you know, clear my mind, you know, and clear my head like, and I've been taken. Some days she struggles to even leave the house on her own. So how, how are you feeling at the moment? A bit nervous, like, a bit. Yeah, I am, I'm all trembling. Really? Yeah, and shaking. I get a bit panicky. Why is that? I think it's just fear. Uh, being taken. So what, do you think they're up there right now? No idea. Might be. You see, you know, they tend to do sometimes observe me when I step out. Oh, do they? I do see the craft. They let me know they're there, just to reassure me that they're there. Like, you know, they watching over me or being protective. I don't know what it is. Despite her constant fear, Chantal does make it home today. You say it's some form of device to stop alien abductions. It sits deeper. Yeah, it looks like a mini vibrator. <laughs> I don't know. Is this device? It's supposed to stop alien abductions, so Miles says. So it looks like a, a mini vibrator. Well, it does, doesn't it? It did it first, and I was just looking at it. Package. A mini vibrator. Well, a little on. <laughs> That won't be any good. <laughs> no, it's weird, I don't know. Did he not say how it stops it? I'm sure he said to me on a text that someone, a friend or he knows, or someone he knows, put his under a pillar. It's supposed to help with abductions or something. Put it under a pillar and I, I just don't think this this is going to help at all. Nothing will. Doms? Yeah. What do you think of this machine? What Miles sent Dom near? I mean, it's just like a little crystal thing hooked up a wire to a battery. <laughs> Even though Dominic's 24, Chantal's keen for him to stay living at home. Without Dominic, I wouldn't be here. Really? Yeah, yeah. If it weren't for him, he deserves a medal. I just love the reggae music. Many UFO experts believe there's a generational link with abductees. Dominic himself says he's been regularly abducted all his life. So when it grabbed me, I was sleeping at this end, and it pulled the covers right off me. Like that. Yeah. Then I looked up to see what, what was going off and then it come to grab me. Then from this way I heard my mum shouting but then I didn't know what it was. Really? What, sorry, what was it? It was a grey, little small grey alien about this tall. Yeah. Big eyes. And what was it doing in your bedroom? I don't know, it just uh, pulled my covers off and come to grab me. Do you think abduction is genetic? So I, I'm meeting other I people. I don't know, probably, but... I don't know. Maybe. Chantelle has been receiving advice from Amash about how to stop her unwanted abductions. And what about Miles' uh, machine? Did, did that not work? This machine? Hang on a minute. This, uh, nah, it'll not work. This is just a waste of time. So when Miles sent it, like, you know, I knew it would be a waste of time straight away, like, so I will send it Miles back. Last night, Chantelle believes there was another alien visitation and the crystal failed to prevent it happening. Put sheepskin rug along that way, watch it, you know, TV like that, and all of a sudden, like, uh, I could feel my body lifting up, like, levitating up, and it's like, after that, I can't remember anything. It must have levitated up to here. And I seen something go, shoo, shoot, past. I seen it with corner of my eye first, and I thought, oh, what was that? It just went, boom, straight past me just glowing like a neon blue colour, white, and sometimes changing into a gold colour. They were only about that size. And were you scared? No, 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 no. They always bring me back. And where do they put you back? Well, it just depends how they've abducted me. If I was studying, they abducted me, they'll put me back in that same spot, like, like if nothing had happened. So I was stood now here just doing something and they took me. They'll put me back in this position, study you, and like you just carry on, like 
you won't think nothing had happened to, to a certain extent until you notice the missing time. Yeah, it can be a scary experience and it's also an amazing experience. You say you want this to stop, but uh, I'm not sure you really do, Shanti. No, I don't think I do, to be honest. If they do stop, I'd miss it, basically. They're like, if they stopped abducting me, I'd probably miss them, really, because to me, they're like part, part, part of my family. It's like I'm torn between two worlds, this world and their world. That's just how I feel. Which world do you prefer? Theirs. What would you miss if you stayed with the aliens? I'd miss Dominic, my son, my cigarettes. <laughs> Kentucky fried chicken, <laughs> TV. <laughs> but I think that's about it, really. There's not a lot to miss, is there? But it's just most of all, I'd miss me, you know, my son, Dominic. Chantal is like many abductees who regard the aliens that take them as an extension of their family, 